sex into it. <sighs> Chuck, you are not answering my calls. To torture me, I am sure, but please, for the love of God, do not tell anybody about us, okay? Please? Please. And to Ramon, who's only ever been completely kind to her. It isn't Ramon Blair's lashing out at, it's you. She was so looking forward to spending time with you alone, and then you show up at our doorstep with your lover. Without a word of warning, how did you expect her to react? Well, I hoped that once we were together, it'll work out. <sighs> I suppose that was pretty naive. Blair learned scheming from her mother and unrealistic dreaming from her father. She tries really hard to act all grown up, but don't you be fooled. She's still a little girl who needs her daddy. May I come in? Our flight leaves in a few hours. I wanted to say goodbye. Please forgive me, Blair. I should have told you that I was bringing Ramon. I knew that having him here would be hard for you, but I love you so much, and I love Ramon, and I was hoping that if we were all thrown together, that something perfect would happen and that you would love him too. I was going to convince you to move back to New York. But you bought a vineyard in France with Ramon. <laughs> What's next, a commitment ceremony? <sighs> Great. There's no room in your life for me anymore. Sweetheart, there is always room for you. No matter where I am, no matter who I'm with. I am. This is part of your Christmas gift. Your house in France. It's very nice, Daddy. I'm sure you and Ramon will totally enjoy it. And so are you. Because this is your room. <sighs> it's beautiful. Now you decorate it just for you. Uh, uh, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> a cat. Named cat. Like in your favorite movie, it was Ramal's idea. So, Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Hoping that you'll spend the whole summer with us.